This week on the Media Boss Podcast. How can we get you from A to Z as fast as possible? It doesn't, it shouldn't take you four years to get here. How can we make you look no. and sound as good as possible, as quickly as possible? I love that. I love that. So let me ask you. Media Boss Podcast is brought to you by two of our new partners. One is Pantheon. I can't wait to tell you about them later. And brought to you by Convert and Flow. You're going to learn so much about them. But now it's time for the Media Boss Podcast. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Media Boss Podcast. I'm Dr. Barrett Matthews, and I am elated to be here. I'm elated because you're here, but I'm also elated because I got another great guest. And yes, you know I was going to say that. You knew I was going to say that. Yes, because my guest is great again. So <laughs> I'm glad you're here because you're going to find out why my guest is so great. And for those of you, if you're just tuning in to the Media Boss Podcast, I want to let you know what the podcast is about. Well, here's the thing. Everybody, if you're in business, you need to know this. Everybody consumes their information through one form of media or another. What I'm just telling you, if you want to become a media boss, make sure that you have media where they're looking. If they're looking at podcasts, be there. If looking at TV, be there. Film, books, social media, be there. When you can do that, they cannot ignore you and you become a media boss. So that's what the show is for, to help you to learn how you can become that. I bring some great people in to help you with that. Now, once you guys subscribe to the show, make sure you're sharing it. Make sure you're letting everyone know that you are paying attention to the Media Boss Podcast. Now, I like to start off every episode with something I like to call the Media Minute. And the Media Minute is where I share something with you that can help you to learn about media, do better in media, anything like that. So something I found out is something that's called Civic Feed, and it's by Civic Bell. And what it is, is for those who are in politics, it allows them, what they just enter wherever they're located, their location, and it allows them to put out broadcast and media in that area, letting, it, letting people know what they stand for, what they're not for, and all that stuff. But anyone who's in politics, it's, it's a cool new tool. It's a Civic Feed, and it's from Civic Bell. It's a brand new media platform for people, and hopefully people can use it and use it right. So now back to the show. So I want to bring on my guest here today. And like I said, I'm excited to have this gentleman. He's the founder of Mark Savant Media. So I kind of let you know who he is, right? Well, <laughs> let me tell you something. He's a lifelong, lifelong employee. Some of you know this. Some of you know this about yourself. And then he turned into an employer. How about that? He turned into an employer. He hosts a globally ranked top 1% podcast called After Hours Entrepreneur. And I'm so honored because he took the time to come and be with us today. That's right. He's going to share his time with us because I know he's got some other people to go out and employ. So he's going to be here with us. So I want to bring to the Media Boss Podcast none other than Mark Savant. Mark, welcome to the Media Boss Podcast, my friend. What's up? What's up? What's up, Dr. Barrett? Happy to be here and talk about my favorite topic today, media hey, production. Let's go. I'm loving it. I'm like, man, don't you feel that energy, guys? Do you feel that energy? I hope I hope somebody's hearing this early in the morning so that you can get that energy and just go with it. I, I tell people, I had people tell me, Mark, they said, you always have energy when you start. I said, man, I got to set the tone. <laughs> I, I learned that early on. I had uh, John Lee Dumas on, on my podcast. Nice. He said, Mark, Energy, enthusiasm is worth 15 IQ points wow. because, and, and, you know, frankly, it feels kind of unnatural at first when you're really like getting excited in front of the yeah, mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But the camera just takes away. It sucks out the energy. So you yeah. got to give, you got to give gotta some give emphasis, it. baby. You got to do it. It is funny. It reminds me of something my, my old high school football coach to say his enthusiasm is contagious. Yes. He used to always yes. say that to us. Enthusiasm is contagious. So you want to, you got to come with it and it'll spread around like wildfire, but you got to come with it. So first of all, I, I got to say this, dude, I love your setup. Uh, thank you. Thank you. It's, it's taken me a long time to get here. With, it did, it, did it really? Yeah. Well, I, I don't come from a media background. Mm -hmm. I was working an insurance job for 10 years plus. That Been was there. my career. Hated it. Didn't enjoy it. <laughs> Woke up every Monday like, why? Why God, why am I doing? And it, it started me off on this, this journey to find something that I really loved and enjoyed. And mm -hmm. eventually I found podcasting. I had a lot of fun and I said, I'm going to learn this. 
And I just started out with my cheap little webcam, a little mm -hmm. lavalier mic. And over time, I just, I learned and I added pieces. And now I've got this great setup, great lights, audio equipment, DSLR camera for my webcam. Love it. And it's just, it's so fun. It's so fun to upgrade. And, and really what I try to do when I'm working with new clients or students mm -hmm. is how can we get you from A to Z as fast as possible? It doesn't, it shouldn't take you four years to get here. How can we make you look no. and sound as good as possible, as quickly as possible? I love that. I love that. So let me ask you, um, starting out, what kind of challenges did you run into starting out? Well, starting out, I went to the school of YouTube, which is amazing, by it the is. way. Everything. But there, there were a few problems. I think the first problem is that when you're taking little snippets of advice from YouTube videos, you watch 100 YouTube videos and you try to put together your media plan. The, the problem is it's not cohesive. And right. you're trying to take all these different pieces taken out of context, which the, the piece of advice might be great. Yeah. But it, it might not completely fit what yeah. you're trying to do. Yeah. And so it felt like I was trying to build this beautiful, amazing puzzle, but I was using pieces from all these different puzzles. Yeah, it, was like, uh, it makes sense. I, yeah. Um, and so that was the first problem is, is trying to figure out what am I actually trying to build? What is the actual picture I'm trying to create? Mm -hmm. the, the second issue I ran into is it took so long to produce one piece of content. I mean, it would take me five, six, seven hours to produce a 30 minute podcast episode. Right. And I'll tell you that my friend is it's not draining. sustainable. It's oh draining. yeah. So those were, I think the two main problems. And over time I was able to alleviate that through systems, through best practices. And that that's when podcasting and media production becomes a lot of fun. And, and I, I'm so glad you said that because I, I tell people all the time, podcasting should be fun. Yeah. If, if it becomes work and you don't need to be doing it. <laughs> Yeah, I was reading Atomic Habits. I just finished it. Ooh, Atomic Habits book. by James Clear. Awesome book. Great book. And one of the points he makes in there that, that I think is true is in order to have a good habit, in order to put a good routine into place, you need to make it as easy as possible. And yeah. this, this goes for everything, media production. Yeah, yeah it does. Going to, the, going to the gym, for example, people say, ah, I don't have time to go to the gym today. I don't have time to exercise because it's going to take me 15 minutes to get there and then I have to work out for an hour and there's another 15 minutes back home. Make it easy. You know, it, it doesn't need to be that hard. Right. It doesn't need to take an hour and a half to go to the gym. Just go downstairs and do some push-ups and sit-ups. You know? That's it. And, and I think for media production as well, we tend to overthink and we do you, you think it needs to be this huge production, but if we can drop down maybe that hour long podcast to five to 10 minutes, you can still have an impact. You can still put it into your daily routine. Yeah, I, I agree with that. And I, I, I tell people, cause you know, I, I work with people on all types of media production and they ask about which one should I start with? So TV, film, books, what should so start with the podcast. And the yeah. main reason is because most people who do a podcast are doing it about something that they love. And so if it's something you love, you should be able to talk about it forever. And if you hit record, you got yourself a podcast. <laughs> yeah. Russell Brunson, he's the founder of ClickFunnels. Yes. And his podcast started, he would drive on his, his way car. to work, yes. he'd pop open anchor, and he would just record, this is what I'm working on in my business today. Yeah. He's doing it while he's driving to while work. he's driving to work. <laughs> You know, it's just about hitting record, baby. You got to hit record. And, I, and it's funny. I'm, it's like, I just mentioned that to uh, one of my uh, potential clients the other day. They were trying to make this so difficult. And I was saying, I said, Russell Brunson. I mentioned that. I said, do, they, do you know Russell Brunson? And they said, no. And I said, you heard of ClickFunnels? They said, yes, yeah. he's the founder of ClickFunnels. I said, he did a podcast going to work just in his phone. So, that, so don't, don't tell me you can't do it. No, you, you, you got to get out there and listen, I think that if you're serious about the podcast, you really want to make it work and generate lots of sales and look good and sound good and all that stuff. I think that's important too. Yeah. But yeah. overthinking it, making it complicated, making it difficult, making it expensive is, is, is just something I think that we need to think about because you might find that it's you don't really enjoy it like podcasting isn't for everybody no some no, people not. should be writing blogs some people should be building out an email newsletter 
right? There, so there's a lot of different things you can do with your time. I'm listen, I'm a huge believer in podcasting because it can create your entire media presence just off the back of, of the show. But the, the, the last thing we want to do is overthink it. We don't want to complicate it. We just got to keep it simple. I agree. So tell me about After Hours Entrepreneur. Yeah. After Hours Entrepreneur is the podcast, is the primary podcast I'm focused on. And the goal of the show is to help get you to your first six-figure year. Okay. I was recently blessed to be able to leave my day job. I, again, I started podcasting about right. four years ago. Bro, it, it, it absolutely life changing. That that you know, the first week or two, I was a little nervous. I'm like, All right, right. we're not getting enough money. But then things started to roll, and that feeling of not having to deal with those crap clients anymore, that feeling of really focusing on something that you enjoy, it it made my life better, my family's life better. Mm -hmm. Everybody that I that I touch in my life, their life is better because I'm able to wake up with energy. Yeah. Will, will, I'm able to wake up with excitement. And I, the goal of the show is to really help you get to that point where you're, you're on that journey to six figures. You've built out your business. You've built out some messaging. You've got some systems in place so that you can be empowered to leave that job that you hate. And it, it is, I just want to pour that into people because it's, it is absolutely life-changing. I, I, I agree, man. I, I told someone just recently, I said, I am, I'm unemployable. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love it. <laughs> I said, I, I mean, because I got to a point, and I know you can understand this. I got to a point where I, I thought about, okay, let me, you know, time got rough. I might have to apply for a job. And I thought, why am I trying to prove myself to somebody to make them think, you know, that I should, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a boss myself. Why should I be proving myself? And I just said, I can't fill out an application and sit through an interview. I just couldn't do it. Mm. And, and some of you may be listening going, well, how dare he say that? Well, if you're not there, you're not there. And I understand that. I respect it. But you get to a point as an entrepreneur where you just don't want to go through that anymore. You don't feel you should. And, and I, and I, I, brother, I, when you get to the point of an entrepreneur, when you can start you know, calling your own shots and making your own money, it's, a, it's like you said, it's a game changer. Moving from employee to employer, I now have seven team members on my, in my podcast production agency. It, it's just, I mean, it's an amazing feeling, um, like I mentioned, but you know, working in a job that you hate, which is what the vast majority of people do is true. not, Very true. Very it's, true. it's, it's not a recipe for success, you know, personally, professionally, you're, you're going to have this ceiling where you just can never break through. I remember working years in retail and, you know, my goal was to get to the supervisor position, mm -hmm. right? But then I looked at supervisor position. I'd be beginning paid a little bit more, but I have to work 20 more hours a week. It's like, yeah. what am I actually working towards? Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can build your own wealth by building your own business and it's hard. It's not easy. No. But that's that's where the after hours entrepreneur podcast comes into play. It's hey, this is some this is practical stuff that you can step away into your own life, into your own business, and use to get there. That is to, cool. Yeah. So how did you get it up to the one percent? So there's there's a lot of things. <laughs> okay. Um, there, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of important things, but I think that the the most important thing is. A, being consistent, right? You, you mm. need to get into a cadence where you're consistent. And that goes back to what we were talking about yeah. earlier, Dr. Baird, is how can I make it easy? How can I make it fun? How can I make it so that it's not completely blowing up my life and I'm not spending my entire Sunday night editing <laughs> videos, and, right? So how, how can we make it consistent? Um, B, it's... One of the, the issues I think that a lot of podcasters run into is we try to speak to everybody, right? And we, you know, how many times you run into this, you, you, you ask someone, Hey, what's your podcast about? And they're like, well, I talk about a lot of topics with a lot yeah. of people yeah. think Joe Rogan or, you know, and, 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 and that's great for Joe. He's a celebrity. He's a public yeah, figure, right? but for you, it's better to say, this is the person I want to talk to. Mm-hmm. This is the problem that they have. Yeah. This is the solution I can offer to that problem. And this is what their life will be like after yeah. they've been 
been impacted in 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 seeing my solution. So I think and and that's not easy, by yeah. the way. I I Thank think it's it's not easy. Like that's I think that's when your show really starts to take off. That's when your business takes off. That's when your social media presence take off. Mm-hmm. When you when you when you start here, very wide, very broad, but you're continuously honing in mm-hmm. on again. I just want to repeat this one more time for all the people in the back or the kid that's kind of falling asleep a little bit. Wake up. If you walk away with one thing here, to be successful in podcasting and business, focus on your customer, their problem, your solution, and their success. Yeah. It's it's a game changer. And I do want to just give credit to Donald Miller. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, you know, this is a big part of the, his book story brand and that, that framework from story brand by Donald Miller mm-hmm. really changed the way that I see business in media today. Okay. And how so? Well, he, he breaks down that framework, right? And, you know, that's another thing that I found. I don't know about you, Dr. Barrett, but reading okay. I've, you know, I went from employee to employer, but I also went from TV watcher to reader. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, reading, reading is, is gas for your car. It's, 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 it's fuel for your fire. It, it is, you know, I, I was talking to Sean Cannell, the founder of Think Media the other day about this on, on the show. And we, and we were talking about books and what a book allows is it takes all the lessons Mm -hmm. that someone has had over their years of success. And it compiles it down into a thought, a thoughtful organized manner so that you can walk away and actually apply it. And, you know, we talked about the school of YouTube a little bit earlier. And one of the, the, the problems with YouTube is that you're getting all these little pieces of advice from all these different places. And it's, it's still hard to kind of put that together, Yeah, yeah. but a book puts it all together right in front of you. Yeah. It, right. yeah, I, I agree with you. And the, the thing about, you know, books and, and reading is that you can always pick it back up again. Yeah. Whenever, when, cause it is something like there are times where I know I got something from this book and I couldn't remember exactly what it was. I could pick the book up and go right back to reference it. And it can, and it can help me in those situations. And it's one of those things that, I mean, you're right. You're right. Re- reading for, for those, here's the thing. Anybody who is successful in business is a reader. Th- that's right readers are leaders that's, that's how they said so it's just the fact if you're if you're going to be successful in business you you better be reading books and and i'm i'm of this school of thought i always tell people i'm, I'm not as impressed by the people that tell me oh i read a book a week i'd rather know that person that read the same book over and over again for the same year because now you become an expert on that subject 100 <laughs> percent and once you become an expert on it, you can do a whole lot of things when you're considered an expert on a particular subject, whatever that subject is. I don't care if it's comic books. If you had to become an expert on it, you can do a lot of different things as opposed to telling me you've read a lot of books because there's no way you're going to remember everything from all those books if you read a book a week. It, it's not going to stick in your head like that. But, but so guys, and I've, go ahead, I'm sorry. Well, I, I just want to say that I've also found that it's okay to put a book down, right? If you read it, a chapter oh. into a book, you're like, you know what? This is good, but it doesn't apply to where I'm at now. Oh my gosh. Yes. It's okay to put it down. You know, it's also done that recently. And and I tell you, I'm glad you brought that up, Mark, because there've been times I'll put it down. I'm like, I feel guilty for putting it down, but I'm like, (laughs) it's really not resonating with me. (laughs) Cause you know, it was referred to me. Someone else loved it. It didn't do it for me. Mm. And and I I remember I felt guilty about it at first. I said, I just can't read the book. <laughs> so yeah. everybody, guess what? We're here talking to Mark Savant on the Media Buzz podcast. I'm loving this, as you can probably see. And we're going to take a break here. We're going to come back with more of the Media Buzz podcast. So stick and stay. We'll be right back. everything you need to know about starting a podcast well at the create your podcast weekend we put it all in two days and help you get your podcast going by next week that's right by next week all you have to do is come to the create your podcast weekend and let us show you how to get your podcast up and running we will show you how to attract listeners we will show you how to get people to pay you for your products and services what products and services 
the products and services we show you how to create all at the Create Your Podcast Weekend. All you have to do is go to createyourpodcastweekend.com and get registered today. And we have special bonuses. Some of you will even get us to give you the equipment to start your podcast. That's right. We're going to give some of you the podcasting equipment to get started. Go to createyourpodcastweekend.com. That's createyourpodcastweekend.com and get started on your podcast by next week. Starting a podcast can be a daunting task. There's a lot that goes into it, and you're probably wondering if you're able to handle it. Well, why don't you just take two days and let us teach you how to do it at the Create Your Podcast Weekend. That's right. We're going to show you all the aspects of how to start your podcast, how to keep your podcast going, how to attract listeners, and how to make money with your podcast. CreateYourPodcastWeekend.com. Get registered right now. Do you have a podcast? Would you like to have it heard by more and more people? Well, Pantheon is the way to go. Unlock the right mindset and tactics with our program. Create momentum with repurposed content. Get paid to build your business. And with Pantheon, we'll even show you how to have a team around you that gives you a community of encouragement. Check out Pantheon today. Welcome back to the Media Boss Podcast. I'm Dr. Barrett Matthews, and we are having a fantastic conversation with Mark Savant. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad we're getting to this part of the conversation because I want you to tell us about Mark Savant Media, man. So Mark Savant Media, we're a podcast production agency. And uh, specifically, I help busy professionals build status and sales with podcasts. That's, that's kind of my, that's what we do. And my mission is to help 10,000 podcasts mm. generate six figures. I love it. That's, that's our company mission. And it's, it, 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 by the way, and we kind of talked about this may be a common theme. It took me a long time to get here. As I was starting my side hustle out, I was taking on any business. Oh, you mm-hmm. want Instagram reels? We can do that. Oh, you you want a YouTube thumbnail? We'll do that. I was taking on any any business. Anybody that was willing uh-huh. to pay me money, I would take. Yeah. Um, over time, as I as, as I worked with more clients, as I worked with more people, I I really found that zone of genius. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a big part of entrepreneurship is trying different things, it not is. making assumptions, but trying different things until you find something that really fits for you and you find the clients that you can really serve and help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and learning to say no. Yeah, <laughs> when you can get there, that is so empowering. It is so <laughs> empowering because when you're starting off as an after-hours entrepreneur, trying to get that six-figure mark, you kind of have to take on anyone and everyone. Yeah. And I've had clients that are verbally abusive I've had mm. clients that um, just aren't a fit for for various reasons. I'm not going to talk yeah. bad about clients. I don't like to do yeah, that. Yeah, I know what you mean. But when you can say, hey, this is not a fit for me, but here's three other people that might be a fit. When you could get to that point, yeah. that is when your life just, it, it, it I just. Agree. I, I agree. Because, I mean, it's one of those things where. You know, like you said, everyone isn't a fit. And that's not a it's not a bad thing. It's just that everybody isn't a fit. And right. you, you gotta be able to I always tell people too many, too many new business owners, especially, we focus so much on being inclusive when we need to be exclusive. Hmm. And it, it's one of those things where we gotta learn to say no to to some business because it's not gonna be good business in the long run. Also, as an entrepreneur, and I'm sure you can attest to this, we have to learn to say no to ourselves. Because our minds keep giving us ideas all the time, and we can't do every single idea. <laughs> no, you can't. At the same time, right? Because I struggle with this. This is a, a great, great point, Doctor Barrett. There are. It's it's also very easy to get caught up in working in your business. This is what we do. This is what I do. 
but f- you, I think that we constantly need to be innovating. And I was talking to Pat Flynn about this on the podcast the other day on After Hours Entrepreneur. And he made this point that he actually sets apart Fridays. Friday is innovation day. Oh, I like that. That's what he does on Friday. So, you know, theming out days is a, is, in, is a good way, I think, to schedule out if you can. Mm-hmm. But Friday is innovation day. So on Fridays, he's trying new things. And I, I, I have a lot of respect for that way of thinking because there's so many interesting things coming out. There's NFTs and there's metaverse, yeah, and there's yeah, podcasts, yeah. And there's new social platforms. And if you're, if, if you're trying to grow your Instagram account the same way that someone was doing it five years ago, it's not going to work. It ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. You need to be trying different things and innovating um, because things are moving so quickly and there's definitely an advantage to be an early adopter. True. Very true. So Mark, before we wrap up, I want to uh, give you an opportunity to let everyone know how they can support you. Anything you have going on, anything you have working on that, that people need to support you in. Listen, I'm here to help podcasters. I'm here to help business owners. So if you want to get your podcast out there, if you want to grow it, um, that that's what I do. You can find me at marksavantmedia.com. I'm on every social platform at marksavantmedia and I'm here to surf. I'm here to surf. I had just the other day, someone reached out to me and said, Hey, Mark, love what you're doing. I'm starting to work on my podcast. Um, and I'd like to, I'd like to grow it. And I said, cool, let's hop on a call. I'd be happy to help. I'd be happy to talk to you about it. He said, well, I don't have any money. I'm not ready to budget for it. You know, I'm not there yet. I said, listen, I don't care. Let's hop on a call. I'm not going to try to sell you anything. I just want to give you the tools to get started. Right. And, and the reason for that, because there are selfish reasons. Every business owner, we, we do sure. things for selfish reasons. I know that if I can help you now and give you a small win now, you're going to come back. Come back, yeah. And, and you're going to, you know, if I give you something for free. Now you're going to come back in the future. You'll give me a dollar. And yeah. then if I can solve that problem, you'll give me $10. And if I solve exactly. that problem, you'll give me a hundred. And, yeah. and I really believe that the more you give, the more you I am a hundred percent with you, my friend. Well, Mark, thank you so much for joining me today on the Media Boss Podcast, my friend. I appreciate you so much. Very welcome. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate you, Dr. Barrett. All right. All right, everybody. That was Mark Savant. Make sure you check him out after hours. Entrepreneur. Look, everybody, I have something for you guys as well, especially for you guys who are brand new. I want you to get more clients, not just more clients. I want you to get more paying clients. So, I put together a complimentary training for you. What I want you to do is go to www.5waystopayingclients.com. Five ways to paying clients.com. That's the number five. So just go there right now. Get, get your complimentary training from me to you. And that way you'll have it. Five ways to paying clients.com. So guess what, guys? We're about to leave here. Now, before we leave, we're going to take a quick break. Now, you're saying, well, if we're going to take a break, why should I? And we're leaving. Why should I come back? Because I have something for you. I have something for you that I don't know how many of you like to travel, but how would you like to travel and save a little money when you travel? Because I'm giving you something. Huh? Huh? You like that? Well, stick and stay. We'll be right back with more of the Media Boss Podcast. podcast? Would you like to have it heard by more and more people? Well, Pantheon is the way to go. Unlock the right mindset and tactics with our program. Create momentum with repurposed content. Get paid to build your business. And with Pantheon, we'll even show you how to have a team around you that gives you a community of encouragement. Check out Pantheon today. Could be anything. All right, everybody, 
and welcome back to the Media Boss Podcast. I told you Mark Savant was going to be amazing, didn't I? Well, he was. He was just that. You can listen to it over and over again if you want to. So I want to make sure you guys are getting something out of the Media Boss Podcast. And if you are, hey, check out our Patreon page. Go to patreon.com forward slash Media Boss Podcast. Make sure you do that. Also, I just gave you guys my free gift, my gift for me to you. Five ways to paying I want you guys to start getting clients that pay. Don't just get clients that talk to you. Get clients that pay. Five ways to paying And if you guys are really serious, I mean really serious about becoming a media boss, what I'd like you to do is take it, take the challenge. That's right. I'm doing a five-day challenge called the Make Money from Media Challenge. What I'm gonna do is rec- I'm gonna be covering podcasting, I'm gonna be covering film, television, social media, live streaming, books magazines, all of these things are going to be wrapped up in this five-day challenge to make money from media challenge. All you have to do, I make it real simple, guys. Make money from media challenge.com. How simple is that? Make money from media challenge.com. Make sure that you guys get there, get registered. If you're a VIP, I got a little extra something for you. So go ahead and register and come in as a VIP. There's a little extra for you. Also, last but not least, make sure you all are subscribing to the show. Oh, I forgot one thing. If you want to have a podcast, if you want to have a podcast, make sure you text podcast to 929 244 4323. That's 929 244 4323. We'll help you get a podcast going as well. And I want you guys to share this podcast. Make sure you're subscribed to the Media Boss podcast and make sure you are subscribing to it as well. Now, you heard me mention something before the break. That's right. If you go to Apple or Spotify, leave us a nice review about the Media Boss podcast. You screenshot that and go to our Media Boss Club on Facebook. It's Media Boss Club on Facebook. I am going to send you a $100 discount savings at any hotel around the world. You get a hotel savings voucher for any hotel around the world. So it's for me to you for, for giving us a good review. So we thank you so much for that. So guys, you know, we leave the Media Boss podcast differently than any other podcast out there. So those of you who know, you know. So say it with me. We're going to count down from three. Three, two, one. Media Boss, out. Out.